everybody, it's Holly. Okay, so today I am taking you along shopping with me in what I hope turns into a shopping haul at the Pottery Barn Outlet. Now, I know I've talked about this before and this is one of my very favorite stores. I've bought a bunch of things since living near a Pottery Barn Outlet, like um, the lights that hang next to my bed, the really cool chandelier in Savannah's room. Uh, there is a really cute bridge shelf that's in Mr. Gizmo's office. We have a shoe bench. I even bought my dining room table at Pottery Barn Outlet because they have such phenomenal deals that it's worth the drive. So today I am bringing you along and you're going to shop with me. We're going to find out what they have because their inventory constantly changes. And so while I don't specifically need anything, um, I am looking for a new shower curtain for Savannah's room, some towels, and possibly some Halloween decor if they have it out yet. I don't know if they do. Now the only problem I could see today is that if I find a really cool piece of furniture that I just can't pass up, I know they're having a furniture sale, I am not. I have a small car today, so I'm not gonna be able to take it today. What I would have to do is I'd have to buy it, put it on hold, and then go back tomorrow with the big truck. So I don't know if that'll happen, and um, I don't need any furniture, but I do need a coffee table, so maybe I'll find one, I don't know. Um, you just never know what Pottery Barn Outlet's gonna have. They have cool kids stuff, and rugs, and furniture, and glasses, oh, I need coffee cups too. Okay, so there are things that I need, obviously. Um, so let's go and um, I'll take you along shopping with me. So let's go to the Pottery Barn Outlet. Okay, so one other thing. We've got to really hurry with this one because we have to get there, which it's it's quite a journey, shop and get back all before the boys get off the school bus. And the boys get off the school bus pretty early in the afternoon, so that doesn't leave us a ton of time to shop. Plus, the Pottery Barn Outlet is part of an outlet mall, so we can't be distracted by all the flashy um, outlet stores. So we got to really haul with this one. So hopefully we can see everything they have and get back in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, so getting gas is gonna cost us five minutes of shopping time, but if we run out of gas, we're not gonna get there. So we stop and get gas. Okay, we're back on the road. Okay guys, we are here. Now before we go in, I wanna remind you, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now the notification bell is even more important than ever because we have a new community. That That's right, a new community on YouTube for you to be more of the Baby Gizmo fam and the Savvy Squad. Now, how you become part of the community is if you go to our YouTube homepage, one of the top tabs says community. If you click on that, that is gonna take you to our community board. This is a place that we can chat with you, we can answer questions, we're gonna ask you questions, we might have giveaways, we're gonna tell you about upcoming videos, we're gonna give you behind the scene footage. It's gonna be really cool, so that is where we can have a conversation we become more of a family so if you subscribe and hit the notification bell that is gonna let you know when we are posting in the community as well so that you can come in and comment and you know be part of the conversation so do not forget to subscribe thumbs up this video of course and hit that notification bell so you can turn on your notifications so you get to know when we are in the community so let's go inside the Pottery Barn outlet I've just walked in the door and this table set of a coffee table and a side table caught my eye because like I said, I am looking for a coffee table and there's one right here and it's gorgeous. And there's even a side table back there. I told you I need a coffee cup. These might work. These are really cute and they match the rest of my dishes. Even though everything is pretty much on sale at the Pottery Barn Outlet, there is an actual clearance section. So if I wanted things that are even more marked down, this is the section. This is actually where I got my hanging organizer in the kitchen at a really good rate. So they have a ton of those here too. 
One other thing we might be looking for is a bed. Now, Savannah wants to redo her bedroom and she actually wants to get rid of her big loft bed and desk um, situation there. I know it's really sad, but here's the thing. She wants a separate bed and a separate desk now because she wants to be able to do her homework laying on her bed and with her loft bed being so high, that's almost impossible. So in the near future, we probably will be completely redoing Savannah's room. So I'm always looking out for a really cute bed. Just in case I just went, you know, is that a gator or a crocodile? I don't know, just in case I want one of those sitting around my house. Or if you prefer puppies, we've got a gold puppy right here for, you know, just to set around as decor. Ooh, I don't know what these are. These have never been here before. These look like laptop bags. Um, oh my gosh, Mr. Gizmo would love this. They have like a blue and orange, which we can't get because that's bear's colors. But they have this, this green and brown one. That is really cool. And, oh, it's pretty expensive. It is $249, but it's a pretty cool laptop messenger type of bag. Okay, now we have what is left of the outdoor section, but what's great about it is that all Red Tag outdoor furniture is an additional 60% off. So if I found like a side table or you know, there's not a lot of matching chairs, but if I found something to already match my outdoor stuff, I bought pretty much this table for the outdoor by the pool, so I already have that. So if I wanted to get different chairs, they're 60% off, which is pretty fantastic. Okay, one thing I'm bummed about is I don't see any Halloween decor. I see a little bit of fall, but I don't see, I don't even see that much fall. I don't see a lot of oranges and browns and pumpkins and things like that, and I was hoping they would have it out already, and they don't. Now this would be a kind of a place too that I would look for a desk for her. She just wants a really simple desk, kind of like this cute white one, except that one. The thing with the powder burnt outlet is they could have some damage and that's why some of the stuff is really cheap. So I wouldn't get that one, but that's kind of the type of desk. She just wants a simple desk. Um, that one would match her dresser so I wouldn't have to get new dressers. Um, that one's a little too big and too office-like, but she wants something, you know, pretty girly, but probably white. Oh, towels, we need towels. I wanted pink towels for sipping in his room and some other towels for our bedroom. That is a sign I like an additional 40% off the towels. So if I find some that work, they're an additional 40% off. I don't really want printed towels though, so we have to go see if these over here are on sale. I don't see any of the 40% off ticketed price on the regular solid color towels, so we're gonna have to investigate this a little bit. Good news. It's 40% off all the towels, so I could get the blue ones or the white ones. They even have like rugs over here if I wanted to get rugs, but that 40% off sign is right there, so I could get any of these colors. Okay, here's the headboard section. They have this one that has a little bit of a design at the top. They have a couple twin bed, just plain ones. They got that one um, that is like an upholstered one. More upholstered beds in all kinds of different colors. Not just for kids' rooms, but they've got adult ones too, so. I don't know, I just don't know if we're ready. With as much as Savannah loves pink, this dresser, if I had to get her a new dresser, I think it would be perfect. You can't get a brighter pink than that with a little splash of white, so. That would be a good choice, I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below and let me know, do you think the pink dresser would look good in her new room or not? These would look so pretty in her room. These are like a pink, I don't even know what that is, a pink bulb lamp. And then if she were to keep the Paris name, she could have gone with this light. She already has a light, but that one is a really cute one because look at the bottom. It has like crystals in the Paris tower. And then you have the pink, which we all know she loves pink. Now another thing that I wish I had lived at by a Pottery Barn outlet when the kids were younger, they always had these really cute dollhouses and a ton of Pottery Barn kid stuff. They even now have Pottery Barn teen as well. So you've got all kinds of dressers and things. Let me show you this chair over here because I think this chair would be great for the boys. That, it's like a big fuzzy one of those round chairs. That would be perfect for the playroom. Here's another option for a really simple desk. I don't know if it's a little too small for what she's looking for, but it's awful cute. Now that chair clearly does not go with the desk, but the desk is cute. They said they have Pottery Barn Kids stuff too, so they've got cribs. I love that gray crib. They've got a dark crib over here in the window. They've got all kinds of shelves right now. Um, they've got stuffed animals, more tables 
tons and tons of things. Oh, this is a really cute dress. That one is perfect because it's an off-white, but it doesn't have any damage. It's a little expensive, but I love the hardware on it. I think the hardware is really cute. And it's a little bit bigger than the other one we saw. You guys, I found some Halloween stuff that was over by the kids section. Gotta watch out for that so you gotta make sure it's what you want now the only girls kid shower curtain I found was this pink striped one now the pink is great and perfect I just think it has too much white um, so it's gonna get super dirty and the last problem is that we had mold in our last shower curtain that was cloth so I don't think that's gonna work so I don't think we're gonna get a shower curtain this time here's some fall dishes if I just wanted like a orange or a green so they do have some fall stuff here Got a little decor there. I really like this. I think this is a cutting board. And then over here, they have, which this is my table that I bought, the same one, and I love it. Um, they have some Thanksgiving plates, but I'm not, just, I'm not like the turkey print on it, so. And I don't like the copper. <laughs> Look, it's a little skeleton hay. I don't even know what you would put in those those bowls, but look at how fun that is. They have a whole, like you have a line of them. <laughs> look at how fun that is. So they do have some Halloween stuff. You just have to really look. Okay, just to give you an idea, I know I keep talking about my dining room table, but I absolutely love it. And I only got it for $500 one time. Now, I don't see any ones for $500 this time, but that's a steal. I think it was a $2,500 table. It goes out to like seat 10, and they just were having like the sale that I could do this percentage on this percentage, and I got it for 500 bucks. So if you really look and you come back a lot, you can find some steals. Now, I'm back to the coffee table, and I love it. I absolutely, it's exactly what I'm looking for but it is $778 and it has 30% off, but I wanted it to be on more sales, so I'm not gonna get it this time. And that one's $779, so even though I absolutely love it, I think I'm gonna wait for this type of furniture to go on sale even more, because 30%, it might not be here, but um, I'm pretty frugal, so I'm not gonna get it even though I love it, because it's just too much. Well, I know I could never get these. My kids would just play with them all day long and then they would break them to pieces. And just kind of a decor, except it kind of looks like snakes in there, so I don't know if I'm really on board with that kind of decor. Okay, so the first Pottery Barn outlet was kind of a bust. I got two towels and some potpourri thing that I put in the bathrooms. I get that every year. But they didn't have anything else. They didn't have the shower curtains I was looking for. The towels, I was gonna get the towels for our bathroom, but you know when you feel a towel and you're like, um, that towel set feels really soft, but I know it's not gonna absorb any water. That isn't that the point of a towel? So I didn't get the towels. I didn't find any beds that really stuck out at me. There was not a lot of Halloween stuff. Um, what else were we looking for? Coffee cups. I kind of wanted the clear coffee cups and they just had the white ones, which would have matched my my other dishes, but I really wanted the clear ones. So, kind of a bust. Now we're just gonna go to the second Pottery Barn outlet. Yes, there are two stores here. This one is the furniture one and the lighting. So, I don't have high hopes. <laughs> they didn't have a lot this time. Even the outdoor stuff, I didn't find anything, but let's go see what they have in furniture. And they have so much stuff that they had to separate it in two stores. This is the lighting and furniture. And we do have 30% off furniture and 50% off rugs. Tons and tons to choose from. Okay, so this is where I got those really cool lights before, um, and I don't necessarily need any lighting, but I thought I would show you what they have today, um, just because. Like they have some really cute. Oh, if you had a baby's room, look at the. And the elephants were your theme. Look at how cute the elephant light is. 
This is also where I got that those things by my bed for fifty dollars a piece, and they were like two hundred and fifty in the regular store, and they were perfect condition. Because they even have really cute rugs. I mean, we're talking tons of rugs. We have the rug in our dining room from Pottery Barn Outlet. So I think half my house is from Pottery Barn Outlet. You know, I think they're taunting me with this coffee table. It's the same coffee table. It has a drawer, but again, that price is too much for me. I know it was a thousand to begin with, but too much, even with thirty percent off. For a boys' room, that is so cool. You lay that out against a wall, that would be awesome. Okay, so while they had a ton of great stuff, I just don't need any furniture. I didn't see anything that I just had to have, so. Okay guys, I have to admit, that trip was kind of a bust. We went to the Pottery Barn outlet and came out with two pink towels and a little bit of potpourri. What is going on? This is bananas. But that is the risk you take when you go to the Pottery Barn outlet because you never know what the inventory is going to be. I was looking for the shower curtain. They didn't have those. I didn't like the beds they had. They didn't have much fall stuff out. They didn't have a lot left from the summer um, furniture, which was on sale 60% off. Additionally, um, they didn't have that. I didn't like the coffee cups because I kind of want clear coffee cups. And they didn't have anything else that really stood out. Like the time that I got that bridge shelf, I didn't mean to get a shelf, but I had to have it when I saw it and it was so cheap. And I'm looking for the really, really good deals. You really gotta come every once in a while to grab the good deal like the $500 table that was originally $2,500. So you got to keep coming because they change their inventory every like three times a week or something. So I didn't get a lot of stuff. I did was able to show you a little bit of what was in there, um, which is kind of good for my wallet, right? I didn't spend a lot of money, um, but I also didn't need a ton of stuff. So I thought it was fun. I'm not quite the haul I was expecting, but it was still kind of a shopping trip so that you could shop with me and kind of see what the Pottery Barn outlets are like. We don't ha there's not a lot of those around the country. There's only a handful and I'm just lucky enough to live within driving distance of one. So now we got to get back. We got to get back pretty quickly in order to get the boys off the bus. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember what I said about the community. Hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button. That will let you be notified when we have new videos, but also when we post in the community. Again, the community is a tab on our, our YouTube homepage. Page. That's where we're going to talk about all kinds of different things. We'll answer questions. There'll be sneak peeks. You'll want to be part of our community. I promise you. Um, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like shopping or Pottery Barn or anything. And that is it. I will talk to you later. Have a great rest of the day. Bye guys.